As the soft morning light filtered through the curtains, the king's eyes slowly fluttered open. He found himself lying beside one, her face peaceful in sleep. A tender feeling washed over him as he gazed at his wife. He could not resist planting a soft kiss on her forehead. The warmth of his lips stayed one from her slumber. She blinked slowly, opening her eyes to find today. Ting smiled at her. Good morning, wine. Ting greeted softly, his voice filled with affection. Wine did not respond, only nodding slightly, her expression distant. Concern flickered in Ting's eyes as he watched her. What's wrong? Why is your mood off? He asked his tone gentle yet curious. Tears suddenly welled up in Vine's eyes before Ting could react. She burst into tears, hugging him tightly and sobbing into his chest. Ting taken aback held her close, he sensed stroking her hair in an attempt to calm her down. What's wrong? Why are you crying, Vine? He asked, his heart etching at the sight of her tears. Vine finally managed to speak the first sobs. I'm sorry, Tehyung. His brow frowned in confusion. Sorry? For what? I should have told you earlier. I kept everything from you. If you knew, you would not have married me. I'm not poor. Please forgive me, Tehyung. Vine said, her voice cracking as she continued streaming down her face. Ting's heart clenched, but he quickly shook his head, cupping her face in his hands. Are you crazy? What are you saying? Don't you know how much I love you? None of that matter. You are with me now, and that's all I care about. But Ting, why am begun? But before she could finish, Ting pressed his lips against hers, slicing, silencing her with a deep, passionate kiss. His arm wrapped tightly around her. As he held her close and for a moment everything else faded away. After a long lingering kiss, Ting pulled back slightly, their forehead resting together. Vyan, he whispered, I am upset that you did not tell me earlier. But no further reason you think you should never have to hide anything from me. Your past does not define you. And I don't want to hear you say such things again. Vines filled with fresh tears, but this time they were tears of relief. Ting's words were like a bomb to her wounded heart. She felt his love and understanding and it mean the word to her. But Ting, Ting continued with a mysterious smirk. You kept such a big secret from me, so you deserve a punishment. Vines eyes fitted in surprise, unsure of what he meant. Punishment? Ting smirked you as he gently pushed her back onto the bed, leaning over her. Yes, a punishment. He whispered his voice husky with desire. He started kissing her neck, his hands slowly roaming over her body. By his heart is, she had thought he was serious about being upset. But now it seemed the situation had taken a turn. Ting, what are you doing? She asked her voice pathless. Ting chuckled softly, his lip grazing her skin as he whispered, This is your punishment, now get ready. Before she could respond, Ting's lips cleansed her over once more, and all those of the past faded away as they lost themselves in each other. One year later, Ting paced anxiously out the operation room. His heart pounding in her chest, he could not stand still. His mind racing with worry, then the door opened and a doctor walked out. Her face calm but smiling. Congratulations, Mr. Kim. You have got a healthy baby boy, she announced. Ting froze for a moment. His pain struggling to process the words. When they finally sunk in, a wave of overwhelming joy hit him, and his face broke into the biggest smile. Without wasting another second, he rushed into the room. There, laying on the hospital bed, was fine. She looked exhausted, her face pale from the ordeal. But uh, she smiled weakly when she saw the young. Vine Ting exclaimed, turning to her side. He leaned down and prepared her face with kisses. Unable to contain his happiness, how are you, my love? He asked softly. Vine nodded too tight to speak, but her eyes were full of love. 
things hostile with gratitude and affection. Thank you, Vine. Thank you for giving me the greatest happiness in the world. He whispered, kissing her once more. Then his eyes drifted to the small bed beside her, where their tiny baby lay sleeping peacefully. Things had melted at the sight. He carefully picked up the baby, cradling him in his arm as if he were the most precious thing in the world. He is so small, the young whispered, Avi in the Avi in his voice as he gazed down at his son. He placed gentle kisses on the baby's tiny hands and feet, marveling at how delicate he was. While watched the young with their son, a soft laugh escaping her lips despite the pain she was still feeling since the young so tender and loving with their baby made her heart swell with even more love for him. Later that night, back at home, Ting and Van were just settling in when the baby G one started crying. Ting immediately jumped up, looking concerned. Van, I think he's hungry. Van blinked slightly panicked, but what will he eat? Ting laughed softly, shaking his head. You silly girl, he's so small, he's going to drink your milk. <coughs> Vine sits on a deep shadow fed at his words. She has sat for a moment then gently picked up Ji Hoon, laying him carefully in her lap nervously. She lifted her shirt, preparing to dash. Ting Young, you should go, she said shyly, her face flushed. Ting smiled, crossing his arm as he leaned against the wall. No way, darling, I am staying right here. Vine bite her lip, feeling self conscious as she Tied to get the baby to latch, but Jin was no feeling. She frowned, unsure of what to do. He's no feeling thing. I don't think he knows how. Thing stepped forward with a serious expression. Let me show him how it's done. Vine's eyes were in shock. What? Sharam karo kya kya bade ho tum log? But before she could protest, Thing gently carried Jin. Demonstrating how to latch onto the dash. One was a blushing mess by the time June finally started feeding properly. But Ting only grinned in satisfaction. See, that's, uh, that was not so hard, he teased. Van buried her face in her hands, utterly embarrassed. We are impossible, Ting, she mumbled. But despite her embarrassment, she could not help but uh, smile. As the night wore on, they sat together in a peaceful silence, watching their baby feet, things hands gently rub vines back, and they both basked in the joy of their new life as a family. And with that, we leave the king and vine to enjoy their precious moment with their little one. Their journey had been filled with ups and downs, but in the end, love and understanding triumphed. Now it's time for us to give them some privacy. <laughs> so let's all quietly exit and let them enjoy this new life as a family after all some moments are meant to be cherished in peace wait 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 guys there is something more <laughs> in the quiet of their home with their baby nestled between them things softly whispered to one no matter what happens, I will always choose you. You are my life, Vine. Vine smiled of the tears of happiness, leaning into his embrace. And I will always love you, Ting. Together, they had created something beautiful out of the broken pieces, proving that love, no matter how complicated or imperfect, could still shine better than anything else. And so, their story continued, built on a foundation of just forgiveness and uh, the unwavering bond they shared, a love that uh, would grow stronger with every challenge they faced now with their baby wife, June, at the heart of their little family. They style their relationship back to the hardship they faced and celebrate the strength of their love. The end.
थैंक यू सो मच आर्मी इतना ज़्यादा प्यार देने के लिए मेरी इस वाली सीज पर आई नो आई नो आई नो पहले से ज़्यादा अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स नहीं आया मतलब पहले से कम ही आया रिस्पॉन्स लेकिन फिर भी तुम लोग जो इतने प्यार प्यार तुम लोगों ने कमेंट्स वगैरह किए हैं ना मुझे सच्ची में इतने ज़्यादा पसंद आए और मुझे इतनी ज़्यादा मोटिवेशन मिली है <laughs> तो मैं तुम लोगों के लिए न्यू न्यू सीरीज़ भी स्टार्ट करने वाली हूँ तो यार उस पर मुझे ढेर सारा सपोर्ट देना और ढेर सारा प्यार देना और इसी तरह हमेशा सपोर्ट करते रहना तुम लोग जब भी मुझे कमेंट करते हो ना इतने प्यारे प्यारे मुझे इतनी ढेर सारी खुशी मिलती है यार इसी तरह हमेशा मेरे साथ है ना थैंक यू सो मच आर्मी चलेंगे